Day two of the MLB draft on Thursday, and we finally hear Coastal Bend native Jared Kelly's name announced. With the 47th pick of the 2020 MLB draft, the Chicago White Sox select Jared Kelly, a right-handed pitcher from Refurio High School, Refurio, Texas. There you have it. The Refurio Bobcat headed to the Chicago White Sox. Not what many expected. Kelly was projected to go in the first round. This after his draft stock dropped due to the lack of scouting available this season from the coronavirus shutting the whole country down. So at one point, a top 10 pick winds up 47th. But regardless, Kelly with a chance to make his dream come true of playing professional baseball. Now a big decision is ahead of him on if he signs or decides to take his talents to the University of Texas, where he is committed to play. Stick with us on 3 News later this week. We'll have an interview with Kelly for you to hear from the Refurio star. And other draft news for a former Cal Allen Wildcat. Kale Imshoff, who now is a catcher at Arkansas Little Rock University, goes undrafted in this year's five-round shortened draft. But Imshoff has plenty of options to choose from. He can return to college, where he still has eligibility, or can sign with an MLB team of his choosing in what will be a wild undrafted free agency due to COVID-19 shortening the draft. On Wednesday, former Ray Texan and Baylor Bear shortstop Nick Lofton was picked in the first round by the Kansas City Royals with the 32nd pick. I was able to catch up with the newest Royal to get his take on the emotions of being drafted, and he also shared an interesting perspective on what it's like for all 2020 draftees being chosen during a pandemic. I, I don't know. I mean, I, the whole experience was insane. Like, okay. I just, the whole... Like it's it's hard to explain it because even not even just yesterday it was like the days before yesterday were uh, like leading up to the whole draft was I was so anxious though every single day just leading up to a week a week before and but now that it's over like it's I'm excited I'm ready to go ready to get started again they don't they have no idea what's gonna happen as far as what's next for me as far as player development going into the minor leagues stuff like that just because they're still trying to figure out yeah. Major League Baseball. I mean, that's just kind of the, that's the that's what's at the front of the plate right now. And once they get that figured out, they're gonna start handling their draftees and handling uh, minor league baseball. So I, until then, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna be here in Corpus, working out, still training, and staying ready. So and a big thanks to Nick for taking the time for the interview. He's a very busy man these days.